The concept of mass surveillance isn't a relatively new subject. In 1787, British philosopher Jeremy Bentham designed the Panopticon, a structure for observing prisoners. This structure is an enormous tower in the center of a circular prison, allowing a single watchman to observe all the prisoners in the jail. The most crucial point of this design was that the prisoners could not actually see into the Panopticon, so they never knew if they were being watched. This feeling of being constantly under surveillance made the prisoners more likely to behave in fear of punishment, which in turn made them easier to control. Fast forward to 200 years later, governments around the world decided to make another panopticon, except this time it was digital. With technology rapidly advancing, governments saw the need to monitor their people in the interests of both their people and the nation. American and British intelligence agencies worked and are still working with agencies in Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, collectively known as the Five Eyes Alliance, to build a massive digital panopticon, allowing for indiscriminate mass surveillance on a global scale. This gives them access to a large proportion of the world's internet traffic, as well as the phone communications of hundreds of millions of people. On 5th June 2013, a British newspaper, The Guardian, published the first in a series of revelations about mass surveillance operations conducted by the United States National Security Agency, also known as the NSA, and the UK's government communications headquarters, also known as the GCHQ. These organizations are responsible for the global monitoring, collection, and processing of information and data for the purpose of intelligence operations. This was brought to light by Edward Snowden, a whistleblower who had been working for the NSA. Snowden was involved in the Five Eyes Alliance's secret mass surveillance programs and was disgusted by them. In an effort to expose the NSA, he leaked top secret documents regarding the programs and left his position at NSA's center in Hawaii without permission. The documents that he revealed proved the existence of the mass surveillance programs and also demonstrated how they work. Firstly, huge companies including Facebook, Google, and Microsoft were forced to hand over their customers' data to the government. Secondly, in an effort to gather information, they tapped into transatlantic undersea cables, which a large part of the worldwide traffic internet is transmitted through. Thirdly, the GCHQ and the NSA have hacked into the private computer network of Jamalto, the largest manufacturer of SIM cards in the world. They have probably stolen and are still stealing some of the billions of encryption keys used to protect the privacy of mobile phone communications around the world. Last but not least, the Five Eyes have the ability to infect individual devices with intrusive malware in order to exploit any phone, anywhere, anytime. This quote is an excerpt from one of the leaked documents. All this while, the governments were secretly building this digital panopticon behind our backs. The government defends these programs, saying that they can be used to fight terrorism. This is true as the government has access to a whole new world of information which allows them to, for example, intercept communications between terrorists. However, the government has no control over what information it receives. It sees everything. Hence, these programs have the potential to be abused. They can target terrorists as easily as they can target you and I, and can hear our phone conversations as easily as they can hear theirs. You may feel that this is not a problem, as you're not planning to bomb the IFC or Times Square. But what if you oppose the government and do not like who is in power? Governments can easily track down who you are and you'll become a target because you said something bad about the authorities. Your entire digital history can be used to lock you up in jail, even if all you've really done is express your own opinion. So when the government is seeking to expand its power through the mass surveillance and the digital panopticon, that should be something that alarms us all. Let me ask you a very simple question. What was the last embarrassing thing you searched on Google? You may or may not remember what you actually searched, but chances are you probably didn't hesitate at all before you clicked on that search button. It may not be something that crosses our minds very often, but it's essential to understand that we are brutally honest on our search engines. The biggest danger of mass surveillance is not the fact that we can be watched. It is the fact that we know we are being watched. Mass surveillance creates a prison in our mind that is a powerful and effective means of breeding conformity, obedience, and submission. 
and suppresses our own freedom in all sorts of ways, as most of us are not comfortable with expressing our ideas when we know someone is watching. This argument is very morally unsettling to many, that people have the power to look over your shoulder for 24 hours in a day. Privacy is the foundation of our liberty, our freedom of speech, and our democracies. And that's the reason why, when we allow a society to exist in which we are subject to constant surveillance, we have defeated the point of being human, as it is our unique and individual thoughts that make us who we are. Thanks for watching our video. We would like you to know that we have taken a strong stance on this issue. We understand that what Edward Snowden has done endangers a lot of innocent people, but we believe that people have the right to know the information that he brought to light. We are open to other discussions upon this topic and would love to hear your opinions. Start your discussion on our Facebook page today.